Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2021 Integra Cornerstone. Now this is a gorgeous coach. This exterior is the Phoenix exterior. Integra only uses the best products. They use Sickens paint and they do five coats of clear. So they do two coats, then they wet sand, two coats, wet sand, and then another coat to give you this beautiful finish. They also use diamond shield on the front cap to protect that beautiful paint job. Another thing I love about Integra, of course, are the sea lights or the show off lights as the owners like to call them. And then I love that we've got Integra backlit on the front and on the back. So you can just see this coach coming and going as you're traveling, it's beautiful. The Cornerstone sits on the Spartan K3 raised rail chassis and it has the Cummins 15 liter X series turbocharged diesel engine, 605 horsepower. So you're not gonna have a problem towing your stacker trailer with your toys and your car or your Jeep, whatever it is you're gonna to want to take, you're not gonna have a problem with the Cornerstone. All right, so right at the top of the windshield, you're in the center, you're gonna see the first camera on this coach. Now you're gonna have several cameras to give us that bird's eye view, 360 view when we're inside the coach. So I'll point those out as we go along. Then down here, we've got the sensor for our adaptive cruise control. And then just note that big, beautiful windshield. This is the motion picture movie screen that you get to look through as you travel around our gorgeous country and see all the beautiful sights. We have our beautiful chrome mirrors and these are heated and internally controlled. We also have a camera inside that mirror. So when I turn on my blinkers left or right, I'm gonna be able to get a full shot of the side of the coach when I'm wanting to turn or change lanes, which is really nice. You'll also get a indicator for the blind spot monitor. So if I've got something in my blind spot when I'm going to change lanes, I'll have an indicator in that mirror as well. So the top part is internally controlled. The bottom convex part of the mirror, you have to manually do that. So typically I'll be in my driver's seat and kind of talk with my co-pilot outside to have them help me get that just right. And we've got one of our marker lights here, another marker light, and the first of our blind spot monitor sensors here on the side of the coach. So you've got a couple ways that you can get into your coach. First of all, obviously your keys, your key fob, and then you've got your own unique code that you can set. So you can let a service technician in, the grandkids in, whatever. Another nice thing about this key fob is when you're walking up to the coach, if you hit that top unlock button, it's gonna turn on your porch light. And that will stay lit for a few seconds um, so that you can get to the door safely. It's just kind of nice. Another thing that you can do is you can hit the light just below this and it's gonna turn on your docking lights. Again, that will help you get to your coach safely or put stuff away in your baggage compartments. Um, also, now this is going to stay on until you hit that again. So you just hit it again, it will turn it off. One of the things that I like to do, you get two sets of keys and two fobs. I like to keep one by my bed. So if I hear something at night, I can go ahead, just hit that docking light on. It's gonna illuminate around the coach, may scare someone or something off that I don't want near my coach. But remember to turn it off. <laughs> you know, there's great things in the details. So remember last year in 2020, we got the chrome handle. Just makes it look so nice. We also have the little light in the clear handlebar here, chrome, the chrome around the wheel well, it just gives that, the, this coach the sense of luxury. The Cornerstone comes standard with the Michelin 365 tires on the front and 315s on the back. Now 365 means that you're gonna have a wider tread. That's gonna give you a nicer, smoother ride. So it gets wider, it doesn't get taller. Now RV tires are not like your car tires. You know, I run my tires a little thin. You would never want to do that with your RV. So make sure you check with your uh, service rider at National Indoor RV Center to, let, to see when you need to change your tires. Another product that I want to tell you about is Retroband. So Retroband is your spare within your tire. It is super important. So I've got a video out there on it. Please go watch it. Um, 
what it does and how it's installed. Retroband, again, it gives you great peace of mind as you're traveling with your loved ones down the road. So we've got our fuel fill. This is a dual fuel fill for your 150 gallon diesel tank. And then we've got our first docking light for the passenger side. Let's check out our first storage compartment here. All right, so this is where we have our refrigerator freezer. Um, it can just be a freezer, but it's on a nice big pull out here. So it extends nice and far. And then you just unclip here, lift that lid up. And you can make this a refrigerator or a freezer. So I know people that use it as a deep freeze for their meats, ice cream as they're traveling across the country. And I have other customers that yes, use it as a cooler. It's just for their drinks, for tailgating parties. They don't have to run in and out of the coach to get those. So you can decide you set the temperature over here and then you're good to go. Love that it's on a nice pullout tray for us. We also have one more um, 110 outlet up here. And then we have a little spot for our remote control for our Girard awnings. So we have the two Girard awnings with the Nova pitch on the cornerstone. And you just simply hit the double zero and then out. That will bring both awnings out together. So now I've got my awnings fully extended. I also wanted to let you know that you can download the Nebula app onto your cell phone and then I could take the awnings out with my cell phone. So I just go to the coach button there. I can choose my slides, awnings, or exterior lights. So I'm gonna go to exterior lights. I'm gonna turn on my cargo lights. I'm gonna turn on my awning lights, my porch light, my security light, and my driver's side awning and under the slide light. So now that I've got my awnings out, my lights are on, I've got my drink cooler all set, I'm ready for some TV and maybe watch a game. So just open this up. We've got the 43 inch Samsung Ultra High Def 4K TV. And what's really nice about this and the Bose soundbar, it comes out, you can angle it, whichever way is best for you to avoid the glare of the sun. And then the great thing is, is that it tilts. Because a lot of times that's the problem, is you just need that little bit of tilt so that you can actually see what's on the screen. So I love that. And then we also have uh, two 110 outlets here, and we have the satellite dish to satellite receiver input. Notice the frameless dual pane tinted windows throughout the coach. We also have the nice window awnings. So we've got our little tool here that we're just going to thread through, pull the awning out, and then we wanna just hook that on right there. And that's gonna give you a nice three-point secure window awning. So whereas I typically wouldn't leave my Gerard awnings out, I would leave my window awnings out if I want to keep the coach cooler inside. Now another bonus with the Gerard awnings, they do have a shake sensor on them. So if a strong wind comes up, that's going to cause them to retract. The Cornerstone also comes standard with the Gerard slide toppers. All right, let's check out more of our storage compartments. All right, so this is our power passer tray and we have two of them on the Cornerstone. So that makes it just really easy to get to all your goods that you have stored underneath here. If you wanna know what you need to take with you and how to pack it, check out my RVing 101 series. I have some customers that share some of the things that they do, some of the things they carry with them and how they carry it. I think you'll find it pretty interesting. So you can see that this extends really far out. It's gonna go out both on your passenger side and your driver's side. So something I really like on the Cornerstone is that this lip flips down. So if you've got a heavy tool chest or cooler, um, you can slide that out without having to lift it up over that lip. And you have that on both storage trays. Speaking of your other storage tray, let's check that out. Again, this comes out. Integra is wonderful. They give us some extra tiles in case we ever need that. We've got the, the um, hoses for our central vac and then we've got the extra chairs for our dinette down here. 
So Integra does an additional thing to its chassis. It adds the X bracing, which fortifies the coach. So that's gonna eliminate any of the flexing um, of the coach as you're going down the road. So again, that contributes to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. Another thing that contributes to Integra having the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market day period is these flush slides. So there's very small tolerance here. So that slide goes right into that box. So another thing that you want to note is when you get to a campground with an Integra, your slides come out first when, while you're at ride height, then jacks down, and when you go to leave, jacks up, slides in. Now, if you look up above here, we have our third camera that contributes to our 360 camera and bird's eye view. And we also have our driver's side security light. All right, so we have lots to talk about down here. First of all, we've got our Wi-Fi extender, which comes standard in the cornerstone. Then we have the splitter for our satellite. So behind this panel, we have lots to talk about. So we've got the slide mechanism in case our slides ever fail. We can just bring a pin here, stick it in these holes, and we tracked our slides or extend those. This is where our chassis and our house batteries come together. This is the Firefly control panel, our solar panel. All right, and this is the backup for our house battery shut off. So we've got that main power switch when you walk into the coach. For some reason that's not working, you can do it right here. So right in between the chassis rails, We've got our two 3000 watt inverters and Tecra places them there. First of all, they're out of the way and we won't tend to pack too much, you know, stuff around them that can make them overheat. So it's great that they tuck them up there. They're safe. And again, we've got the two 3000 watt inverters. Underneath the panel here, we have the vent for our heated basement and that is internally controlled. We can see that on our display in the Vega Touch inside the coach. We also have the two 110 outlets and then we've got our Dirt Devil uh, hook up here. So this is really nice. You can vacuum out this really nicely lined, um, just like you would have in an automobile. Your baggage uh, storage area is all beautifully carpeted and you can pull your car up next to it and vacuum out your car as well. If you're not storing your coach with National Indoor RV Centers, where we have you hooked up to 50 amp service at all times, then when you go to store your coach, you wanna make sure that you cut off all of your power to your inverters, you do that here, to your, and your house batteries, your leveling jacks, house batteries, battery link, and your gin and fender, fender compartment so that you don't have any parasitic draw. So if for some reason your lever leveling jacks aren't working, you might wanna come and reset this breaker. So if you came out here and you saw the, the yellow was out, you would just hit that back up and reset it. In the next storage bay, we have kind of the backside of our freshwater tank. Our freshwater tank is 100 gallons in the cornerstone and this is also where you would fill it if you needed, if you were dry camping and you needed to fill it pot with potable water, you would fill that right here. This is also where you would sanitize your fresh water tank. They've given you a little extra space here, so go ahead and use that. I'll, I've also seen my, some of my customers take Velcro and hang some of their extension cords or short hose right there so they make that usable. Then the other thing I like is that Integra kind of gives you a little window here so you can just visibly see how much water you have in there as well as your electronic readings that you'll have in your wet bay and on your Vega Touch and on your phone. Another marker light, LED marker light for the passenger side of the coach, our docking light. And then if you look up above, we've got the little holder here for our manual window awning. Then we have another blind spot monitoring sensor that's gonna monitor everything forward and then we've got one right here that's going to get everything towards the back of the coach. Also notice here that we have the passive steer tag axle. So anytime that you look at your front axle and your tag axle and they've got the same, I like to refer to like belly buttons, Audis or Innies, if they both look the same then you've got a passive steer tag, tag axle that's going to give you a little better wheel cut when you go to make those sharp turns. So behind the little door here we have our diesel exhaust fluid, so our DEF. This is a 15 gallon reservoir here, and we can fill it from either side of the coach, so driver's side or passenger side, which is nice. Now, DEF does have a shelf life. 
you want to make sure it's usually between six months to a year um, depending on how hot it is it doesn't like light or heat so you want to keep it out of the light and um, typically if you if you know that you're going to resort you're just going to be sitting there for three or four months you may not want to fill that because again you want to have fresh DEF so that um, when you have bad de DEF it can throw some bad engine codes for you. Now we have our chassis batteries so they've moved them this year they've put them a little bit lower so it's easier to get to the top of them this is our power management um, center for Spartan. That's basically going to be all the fuses for the back half of the coach. And then we've got our disconnects for a battery. So again, if you're storing your coach, you wanna make sure you turn those off. If you're not storing with National Indoor RV centers where you're plugged into 50 amp service, you do not wanna have any parasitic draw there. And then I want you to look just back here above your DEF tank. This is um, where Spartan, where you can fill your airbags in an emergency. So I just wanted you to know where that was. Then we have our engine air dryer filter, and this needs to be changed once a year. And then we have our fuel filter for our engine. And our door that I love, so you just have to push this door button right here, and your engine compartment door will open. So you have a passenger side and a driver side security light. You see when you've got that little white dot, that means that it has a motion sensor on it. So in the evening when it's dark, if someone walks by your coach, that will automatically turn on. And then just to the left of it, you've got your second camera that contributes to your 360 camera bird's eye view. So we have our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Coming around the back, we have another marker light here our exhaust pipe for the engine. And then we're right to this engine compartment. Let's talk about it. So again, this is the 605 Cummins diesel engine. And we have back here in the corner is our hydraulic oil for our power steering fluid. Then we've got our engine air minder. So you wanna check that when that is, when that goes to the top, it's time to change your air filter. We've got our engine oil fill and our engine oil check of the dipstick is right here. This is our coolant. We wanna make sure that's always full. So that little bulb should always be red and full. If we need to fill it, we'd fill right here. So here we have our engine block heater. So if you're somewhere where it's really cold and you wanna warm up that engine before you head out, you'll just wanna come out here and plug it in. And really, if you're needing to use this, you know that you're too far north and you need to head south. Then we have our transmission fill and check here. You can also do that from the dash and it's really more accurate from the dash. And then we've got our engine air filter. So the air is gonna come in through those slats up here, come in, it's gonna go through the air filter and then into the engine. All right, so we have the 20,000 pound hitch on the cornerstone so that, like I said earlier, you're gonna be able to tow your stacker trailer, with your two Suburbans in it if you want, and you're not gonna have any problems. We've got a two and a half inch receiver here. We have our tow brake um, airline that Spartan has given us with a safe haul tow. And then we have our seven way for our brake lights. And then look at the beautiful cornerstone mud flap that they give us. Directly above the backlit Integra is our camera, third camera for the cornerstone that helps with that 360 view. So the cornerstone comes standard with the side radiator. Side radiators are nice for a couple of reasons. First of all, they pull in the ambient air, which is cooler. The air isn't coming off the bottom of the coach where it's dirty, all this debris that gets thrown up from underneath the road. So that cooler air makes it easier and your radiator fan doesn't have to work so hard. And also, it's a lot easier to service your coach with a side radiator because you can get to everything back there in the engine compartment. Now with the side radiator, you wanna make sure that you keep it clean. So all you have to do is just take a garden hose, put your thumb over and just kind of clean off that radiator occasionally. Again, that will make it work more efficiently and give you more horsepower. Now, as we go along here, we've got our blind spot monitoring sensor and then we have the DEF fill for the driver's side of the coach. And if you look just above here, there is the exhaust for our dryer and our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach. 
So again, notice the beautiful chrome around the uh, wheel wells. We've got our second blind spot monitoring sensor for the driver's side of the coach. All right, so we have our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach, another marker light, and then we've got our little door for our stinky slinky. And so, you all know what's next is going to be our wet bay. So I'll walk you through this. I like how Integra labels everything nicely. I also love that Integra gives you a place where you can put your soap or your disinfectant or gloves. I like to have a place for gloves and paper towels here. Now, if you want to see how I hook up everything when I get to a campground, then go to my RVing 101 series. Part three is where I hook everything up and part four is where I put everything away when I'm ready to leave. So we have the refrigerator filter and then we've got the electric reel for our freshwater hose. So We've got our hose here and I love that Integra gives us this nice rubber seal so that we can push that through and we're not going to get any critters in our wet bay, which is very important. And then this is wonderful to just push that button, have that retract back in, super nice. This is the um, tank flush valve and then we have our fresh water connection. This is our fill for our fresh water tank and then we can hook up to city water. So right now this is hooked up to city water and then we can turn it and that would be filled for our fresh water tank. And we can light on and off here, macerator on and off here. Here are the electric valves for the gray tank and the black tank. And then we've got our new digital display that we had last year in the 2020, but it will give us the readings for our fresh, gray and black. Fresh is 100 gallon, gray is 62 and black is 41. And we've got our cargo light and our water pump we can turn on from here. And then the water filter for the coach. And then we've got the little tool here that would help us change that out. And then of course, we've got our shower hose for our external shower. And we've got hot and cold. So that's really nice and a place to hook that inside the coach. Now we have something new for 2021 that is Tecra has added that you're going to love. So behind the door here, hook that back up, take off this panel and just look up in here and you'll see that everything's labeled. So your kitchen sink, the mid lav, the shower. So you can turn off your water to that individual area that you need to work on and still have water going to everything else. So that's huge. The cornerstone comes with a Thetford uh, macerator and then you can dump through your stinky slinky here. Or if you wanna do a gravity dump, you'd put on one of those clear elbows and then you would pull this T-bar to release so that you could do a gravity dump. All right, so here we have our 50 amp shore power cord and our surge guard protector. So you've got this at the coach. I always like to have one on the pole as well, or you can come to National Indoor RV Centers and we can install one inside your bay here so that you don't have to worry about anyone ever stealing one at the pole. So it's just extra life insurance. You can never have enough. Something that I'd recommend doing. Um, also, we've got our Aqua, our 450 diesel aqua hot unit. So this is used for your furnace once you drop below 40 degrees and for your on-demand hot water. Also, this is gonna heat your heated floors that come standard in the cornerstone. And we've got a little reader back here that will give us a lot of information, faults, diagnostic tests. You can go through all those and go back to home. Now your diesel aqua hot does need to be surfaced once a year. You can bring that to National Indoor RV Centers. These nozzles are for water to be put in or taken out of the unit by your service technician. There is also the fuel filter for your diesel aqua hot here that needs to be changed and the nozzle that's inside the unit needs to be changed once a year. Okay, here's our 50 amp shore power cord, which is on a power reel. One of my favorite things, if you've ever <laughs> had to put one of these away manually, you'll really appreciate that power reel. And here is our exhaust for our 450 diesel aqua hot. We also have two 110 outlets here and our cable input here. All right, so let's check out our pass through storage tray on the driver's side of the coach. So again, we've got the power trays, so that will extend nicely out here makes it super easy. And this is kind of a nice one because you're not gonna have a slide here. So you're gonna be able to get to that 
um, those goods very easily. And then just inside this store, we have the filter for your central vac. And then if you look up here in this bay, this is where the four cameras come together to give you that 360 bird's eye view. Here is our second pass-through tray, power pass-through tray. And our last storage compartment on the cornerstone, nice, big, very tall, so you can put a lot of things in there. So we have our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. Remember, this is a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. Then we've got our last docking light for the driver's side of the tank. And just below here is the exhaust for our 12.5 kilowatt generator. And then we've got our light. We can turn on it here. This is basically the fuse, fuses for the front half of the coach. So you can take that off and they're nicely labeled on the outside here. And Integra is giving us a nice little storage pocket here. And our generator slide. Open that. Again, watch your, your legs as you're opening that generator that the exhaust doesn't get you because that will be hot. Your last blind spot monitoring sensor and marker light for the driver's side of the coach. All right, so here we have our 12.5 kilowatt Onan generator. This is where, if we happen to blow the breaker, this is where you'll reset that, and you can start it and stop it here. This is gonna tell you the number of hours. At National Indoor RV Centers, we recommend that you get your generator serviced every 150 hours, and we can take care of that for you completely at any of our locations. This is the coolant for your generator. And then behind this panel, you have your oil filter, your oil fill, your oil dipstick, and right back here in this little silver box is your fuel filter for the generator. Then we have our windshield wiper fluid here, and our wussy horn is down below here. Here is the fan and compressor for the dash AC. And just above that to the back is our air horn what we want to use so we can let people know we're coming. All right, so let's go inside. A couple of little things I want to show you before we actually go inside. First of all, Integra has been kind enough to give us a little drawer here, right? At the entrance, that's great for pet leashes, umbrellas, muddy shoes, something you don't want to take all the way into the coach. So I love that. A new feature for 2021 is the screen here is removable. So if your co-captain doesn't want to look through a screen while they're traveling down the road, you simply remove, just move these little tabs. You've got two on each side and you easily lift out that screen, put it in your storage bay, and then you've got a nice clear window to look through. If you want the screen when you're camping, easily put it right back in. All right, let's go inside and check it out. All right, as I come in, I just want to note the great grab bars that you have to come in from the outside of the coach to the inside of the coach, and then you've got this one as you're coming out of the coach. So really nice and sturdy. Everyone's going to be safe coming in here. You also note that the stairwell is lit. It has a beautiful Integra backlit. Got to love that. Right to my light, right here, I have the fire extinguisher. This is great if I need it outside at my campsite or inside the coach. Very easy to get to for everyone. Okay. So right here to my left is the main power button. So that's for our house batteries. So I can hit that as I'm exiting or entering the coach to turn that on and off very easily. Then we've got the power, uh, the step power button. So that's so once you get to the campground, you don't want your steps going in and out every time you open the door. Not only is it annoying, but it's just going to use that motor more than you want it to, and then you're gonna have problems with your steps. So once you're camping, just hit the step power button to keep the steps out. Then we have the step light, so I just pointed that out a little bit. It's really nice, lights up everything really well. Then we've got our main switch here. So we've got our light switch for our master off and on. And then we've got our cargo lock, so we can unlock all the cargo bays or lock them right from here. We have our master night shades here and our day shades here, master. So we have the lights for our awning on the passenger side and on the driver's side, and our security light 
for the passenger side and the driver side. Now remember that security light on both sides of the coach is when it's dark at night, you have that motion sensor. So if someone walks by your coach, it will turn on automatically. Then we have our entry ceiling light. So if I hit that, the ceiling lights will in, uh, go on. And then I've got the arrows. That always means that that light is dimmable. Then we have our entry awning. So we have the extended and retracted. Our cargo slide out light. So once the slide outs are out, I can light that area below the slide out and our porch light. All right, so now we are finally inside the coach, which is my favorite part. So I am very excited to show you all about the 45F floor plan and tell you why, the re why there's so many reasons that I like this floor plan. First of all, look at how beautiful this coach is. This is the cashmere interior with a stonewall gray wood. You'll notice that we have the Italian leather and it's buttery soft. You gotta come fill this in person. Really nice quartz countertop, beautiful porcelain floor, LED lights throughout. This is just a gorgeous coach. The Cornerstone comes with a ton of storage. So I'm just gonna start here. I'll start in the cockpit area and then go throughout the co coach, open up every cupboard and show you what's in there. And we'll just start here. Oh, first of all, I wanna talk about this light here. So this is one of your map lights. You can have this on dim, bright, or you can turn it off. For that light to work, you do have to have the map light at your dash in the on position. All right, let's check out this cabinet. All right, so this is sort of a control um, panel cabinet. This is the control panel for your solar panels. So you can just push the button here. It's gonna give you the voltage of your house batteries, 13.11. Chassis batteries, 12.67. Temperature, 78 degrees. And this would tell us what kind of solar power we're bringing in. Since we are inside the building at our location in Surprise, Arizona, we don't have any solar happening right now. Then we've got our AC override. So now this is for your AC. If something happens with your Vega Touch and you can't get your air conditioner to work, you want to come here and turn on your AC units. Now, when your Vega Touch and everything is working properly, these need to be off because this will override this and these run continuously. So once you turn them on, those ACs will keep running until you turn them off here. Now this is a backup for your slide. So you can do your kitchen slide, extend, retract, the super slide, extend, retract, the vanity slide, extend, retract, and the bedroom slide, extend, retract. This is your wine guard over the air antenna. So if you go ahead and hit search, even though we're inside a building, it's gonna go ahead and lock on to, well, it looks like 18 channels, and you'll get even more when you're outside in the campground. And then this is a backup as well for your generator. You can start and stop your generator here. And then we have another cabinet here. So this is a nice storage cabinet. If you wanna see um, a way to use this really nicely, go and watch my RVing 101 part one series where I have some of my customers show what they've done in their coaches with this cabinet. So you've got a cabinet here, you have one tin outlet, two plugs there. Then we have our 32 inch Samsung TV. Another big cabinet with a lot of storage and two, uh, four actually, four one tin outlets in this cabinet. So if you wanna charge your iPad, your phone, whatever. You've got lots of outlets. You can do it right inside this cabinet while you're going down the road. All right, so this is a very important cabinet. These are our power control centers and everything in this box to the left can be run if you are plugged into shore power or running your generator. Everything here can be used through battery power. So you've got two inverters with the cornerstone, two 3000 watt inverters and inverters are very important. So they do three things. They invert AC to DC and DC to AC. They charge the batteries as needed or they pass current through. So at National Indoor RV Centers, we always make sure our porters not only plug your coach into 50 amp service, but then also check your coach before they leave to make sure your batteries are charging. So here on the driver's side of the coach, we've got some storage and we've got a shelf there which is adjustable so you can determine the height for whatever you need to store there above here 
we have our WineGuard um, DirecTV satellite. So you're gonna get HD satellite with the WineGuard that comes standard now on the cornerstone. And then in the back here, we've got our satellite um, in, in motion receiver if you wanted to add that. Uh, we also have the HDMI input there. So say you want to throw up Xbox in your living room, you could plug that in right there. Now we have the TV lift. So we've got this nice big window, but if we put, push this button, we have this awesome big 50 inch Samsung TV with the sound bar. And then over here, we've got our matrix box. So now we can determine where we want uh, the input to go. So we can do DVD, satellite, exit, and then we've got our main TV, bedroom TV, exterior TV, and our front overhead TV. And we've got our Sony Blu-ray player and another cabinet with storage below and again, adjustable shelf. So we've optioned this 45F with the theater seating and the sofa across. Now the sofa, not only is it super comfortable, but it's also going to be your extra bed. So you just easily take off the cushions here. Then you just go ahead and pull the bed out. Super easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in. And then I'm going to inflate. This is the push of a button here. So that took all of about one minute to pull out that bed and inflate it. So now I just need to put the sheets on, get it ready for my guests, and I'm done. Now, when it's morning time, ready to put it away, I'm just gonna press the deflate button. It's deflated, now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. Tuck these right into the corner, the mattress there. And fold it right back up. So simple. So I love the theater seating that Integra uses. It's so comfortable. So before I sit down and take my nap, <laughs> I want to point out a few things to you. First of all, let's check out the storage that we have above it. So that's one nice big long cabinet. There's no break in between. So you can really use that storage for whatever you need. And it gives you some lots of options with there being no um, know walls in there basically then we've got our 110 outlet here two and two 110 outlets there with the USB ports and also you're gonna have a 110 outlet right here at the console there's really lots of places that you can charge your devices if you need to and then you're gonna go ahead and sit down finally and kick up those feet seriously these are the best place to take a nap. You can watch your TV, put the TV down, look at the beautiful outdoors. And you can also charge your device right here where you control the recline on your seat. Then I love this here because look at how much storage you have here. So I like to keep blankets, throws, little tray for my remotes. Those can all be tucked away and don't have to be left out. And then obviously we've got our drink holders. So this is just really comfy. You will love it. And right behind me, we have the satellite Bose speakers. So we have nice surround sound in here. You might be wondering what this is here. You're gonna see a couple of them throughout the coach, actually three. This is the thermistor. It's gonna to speak to the thermostat and help regulate the temperature of the coach. Now for the kitchen. So you're gonna love what they've done with the kitchen this year. We've got brand new quartz, which I think is just beautiful. The big thing that we've added for 2021 is the kitchen window. So that's huge. I love the way they've encased it with the beautiful backsplash. I love the backsplash for 2021. Gorgeous, and you have the power 
day and night shades. All right, so one of the new things for 2021 is the kitchen window. So it's really easy to use. You just flip this forward and then pull it. You've got your screen here. Now, if you wanna pass food or something to someone outside, and then you can pass right through the window there if you'd like. So let's check out the counter space and storage that we have in the 45F. So I love anytime they give us a little extra storage here. And we've got the full extension drawers, our little cutting board. Look how long those drawers are. So lots of room. And then let's go above here. We have a nice big cabinet here. Probably you could get an Instapot in there, maybe a coffee maker, but plenty of room to also keep one of those on the counter if you'd like. Then this is a little pocket door that's for our stove top cover. So this is our induction cooktop. If we wanna use this to work on or just cover to protect it, that goes easily right there and you can just shut that. Then we've got our convection microwave oven by Whirlpool. And nice storage here above the sink. We've got the pull-out tray so you can easily get to everything in the back of that cabinet, which otherwise would be fairly hard to get to. Then new for 2021, we have the Blanco Sal Granite Sink. So this is going to be stain and scratch resistant. And I think it just goes really beautifully with the rest of the interior in the cashmere package. Now, one more new thing for 2021 is the stainless steel front uh, Fisher Paco dishwasher. And one of the things, I think one of the reasons that they added that is because now the controls are right here outside of the dishwasher. Very easy to see which stage of washing you're in. So it's easy to control. Then we have a nice big drawer below our induction cooktop. We've got all of our microwave guts kind of in here, but keeps them from rattling when we're going down the road. And then below the sink, we've got the flip sink here, so we can put our brushes in there. And then we have the pull out little slots there for our sink covers. And I love how they're lined with the carpet. So again, those aren't gonna rattle when we go down the road. Place for our garbage and a little extra storage for maybe our cleaning supplies there. Then we've got another cabinet here and another flip drawer. Now, one of the things that I love that they give you on the 45F is the spice cabinet. So that's really nice to put all your spices. If you're, you know, love to cook, you've got lots of room for spices. And then this is a favorite, favorite, favorite thing of mine, I think for 2021 is check out the new chair. So you can sit at the dining, dining room table, swivel around, talk to your spouse who's making you dinner. I hope a really nice candlelit dinner, but I love this chair. They did a great job. Also this year in the 45F, they've added an extension here to the table, and then they gave us little metal prongs here for our extension, so that's just gonna be more sturdy when we want to add guests to the table. Not only is it sturdy, but it's really easy to put away. Just pull it out, push it down, and push it back in. Super easy. Now we've got storage above the dinette. Again, that's continuous inside there. No break in it, so that gives you extra options as you're storing. Maybe you want to put your plates and your dishes up there. You can just get more in that way. And then the great thing about the F is you've got the buffet here and you've got storage your subwoofer is under the dinette the table one more cabinet over here with the chairs I love the fact that you've got this handle to easily pick them up and move them and you're not getting your leather or your fabric dirty and another nice storage cabinet there Right at the end of the buffet here, we have two 110 outlets. 
So underneath the kitchen cabinets, you've got two 110 outlets and two USB outlets. And then just above the stove top, you've got another two 110 outlets. All right, if I can direct your, your eye up here to the beautiful ceiling feature in the cornerstone, then we have our first of three fans and you can control those at the Vega Touch. So we have one in the kitchen, the half bath, and the master bath. Then continuing on here, we've got our fire detector. And down at the ground, we've got our dustpan. So we can just sweep everything over here. Our central vac. And our carbon monoxide alarm. We have the Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. I love that we have the water and ice in the door. Also, we have the lock right there on the door for the refrigerator and the lock for the freezer on the side. So nice big refrigerator, residential refrigerator, just like you've got at home. And freezer. And then we've got the nice size pantry with pull out trays, full extension, and they lock into place. So they're not gonna cause your door to fly open during travel. So that's really nice. Then let's head over and let's go through the Vega Touch. Now you can download this app onto your phone and do everything from your phone as well. But this is our home screen. So it's gonna give us the time of day, the date, the temperature throughout the coach and in the basement and outside. Then we're gonna have the interior light button, exterior lights, we can turn them on and off here. And we can set customized settings so that when I hit set one, that could be like my theater mode. Um, or you know, I can, I can set those easily. Then my day and night shades. So day shades, night shades, up and down, away and stow. This is gonna show me my AC source, so I'm plugged into shore power right now, and it's showing me the volts that I have on each line. My chassis batteries at 12.6, my house batteries at 12.8. This is where I can turn on and off my generator. I can set my auto gen start. This is where I can turn on and off my inverters here. Then we have our fresh gray and black tank, and it's gonna give us those levels. We can turn on our water pump here, and our engine preheat, our diesel heat, and our electric heat. So then we can go to our lights. So this is the control mode. So I can literally turn on and off individual lights, set the brightness or dimness that I prefer, or I can go into my basic mode, where I can just turn a whole area on or off. Shades, this is really even more important, I think, with the shades, because you can always do your night shades, put all your night shades down, but typically you're gonna want to open up your door shade right here, and then you can have that, you know, lift up the day shade or the night shade so that people can come in and out of the coach. Then we can go to our coach mode. This is where we can do our exterior lights, our slides and awnings. So here in house, in the coach mode, it's showing my exterior lights. So my driver's side lights, passenger awning lights, uh, motion sensor light, porch light, under the slide lights. So I can turn those on and off from here. So now I can do my slides. So here I can extend and retract each slide room and my awnings and entry door awning as well. All right, so we'll go to temperature. You can see that it's gonna give us a temperature of the bedroom, kitchen, living room, and storage bay. Then I can go ahead and just turn it on and I can sync them all. and then turn them all off really easy. Or I can do them each individually and I can set them individually. Same with my basement. I can also turn on my fan here, my kitchen, my half bath and my master bath, turn on my diesel heat or my electric heat. And then this is the floor heat. And I personally like to have my floor heat on all the time. So I'll keep it on low 
So you can set that. And then I'll even have my AC on. With my floor heat, just because I like my floor to be warm when I step out of bed. Then we go to our AV button. So this is gonna show all your TVs. So your bedroom, living room, overhead, and exterior TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my living room TV. And then this is gonna give you your TV, your HDMI wall plate, auxiliary at the dash, your satellite, your Bluetooth, your radio, and Excite. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Excite, cause then you can throw whatever you have up on your main display on your TVs. So now you wanna make sure you're in house mode and then you select your cameras. And then this will allow you to scroll through all your camera screens and it will change every 15 seconds or you can disable that. So now you can see that I've got my camera that would be at the dash now on my living room TV. I also decided to throw it up on my bedroom TV. So if I'm laying in bed and I wanna see what's outside, it's gonna to toggle through the different cameras on my coach and I can lay in bed and see what's going on outside. This is a screen that you can kind of customize your home screen. So right here, you can edit your home screen and let's say I wanna add my cargo lock and unlock because that's something I use all the time and my kitchen fan I use all the time. My, all my fans, I want those on my home screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit, click that. Now when I go to my home screen, there are my fans and there's my car cargo locked. Now if I go back and edit again, if I want to decide I want to take those off, edit, now I go to my home screen, they're gone. So you can customize that area there with the buttons that you use all the time. So it's sort of like your favorites page. You can make it that way. And then go to your settings. This is your display, your software, your sleep, user, images, pairing, pairing, super important here. This is where you'll pair your phone with the Nebula app so that you can do all these functions from your phone versus the Vega touchpad. Now remember, this is my favorite button of all. If you have questions about how something works, just hit the question mark there, go over and hit it. It will explain how you use it, close, and then to get rid of the question marks, hit the button again. Then you can go to your A down here. This will label everything. So cleaning mode, home, light, shade, coach, climate, AV. Just helps you remember the different buttons until you get used to them. So you can have those there or not. This is gonna be the cleaning mode. So you can, you know, make it so that you can just clean it for 15 seconds and they'll come back on 30 seconds 60 seconds seconds to sanitize i'm just going to cancel out of that and then we've got sort of put the vega touch to sleep or take off the brightness of that screen and then if you hit the black out here it takes it off completely then just touch it to bring it back all right, let's head into the half bath. One of the things that I love about Integra is they give you such a big half bath. This is very roomy and we've got great medicine cabinet here with lots of storage. And here is our 12 volt control panel. Then look at the beautiful quartz countertop, integrated sink, residential faucets, more storage here, a little flip down. And then I always like to have a towel ring or towel bar. And we've got a little hook here for another towel. We have two 110 outlets. We also have the lighting for the bathroom, the accent lighting. We can control this fan from here and take that up and down. And then we can also control the shade, day and night shade from in here because we don't want someone outside doing that. We really want to be control of that ourselves. Now we also have the Santa Flow new macerator toilets for 2021. And here's the controller for the toilet. Eco, normal, and empty. To the left of the half bath, you have your thermistor for the kitchen air bathroom area of the coach. So notice the beautiful pocket doors as you, as I come into the master bedroom. 
and those just snap right into place. They actually have airlocks so that when you put the coach into drive, it's gonna lock those in place so that they're not rattling around when you're going down the road. Now, as we come into the beautiful master bedroom, we've got the king size bed, which is a sleep number mattress. And then we've got storage underneath the bed. Nice amount of storage there. And on each nightstand, we've got two 110 outlets and two U USB outlets along with a little storage area below. And again, nightstand on each side. So if you've got a CPAP machine, you've got a place that you can put this. Beautiful headboard and pillows. They just do such a nice job. Beautiful valance. We've got the reading lights and those are just touch control. So kind of a dim, bright and off and you can direct those wherever you need them as well. We also have the control for the fan here in the be master bedroom. And then we've got lights, controls for the lights, door locks, accent lights, um, your day and night shades are all on this panel right here underneath the bed. Then you'll see that we've got really quite a bit of storage in the overhead cabinet. You might need a big plastic bin to put things in that area, but you could store your winter clothes or your summer clothes. I really like that space. And again, no dividers, so you can have access to all that space. Speaking of storage, we have a whole lot more over here. Nice drawers with lots of storage. And then four more here. I love that we have the quartz countertop again. Nice countertop here. And then more storage. Again, no divider in that cabinet. So you can get a lot of goods in there. Then we have our Samsung TV for the bedroom. We have our Blu-ray player behind here. We have uh, two more 110 outlets and we have an input here for your satellite receivers, your HDMI, whatever you need there. And then of course your safe. We also have a controller here. So for your bedroom ceiling, your overhead bed lights, your accent lights, bedroom vanity, courtesy lights, bathroom lights, master shade, um, day and night shade lights, and then your a total master on and off lights for the entire coach right here. And you pretty much have the same panel underneath the bed, except you can lock and unlock the bed, the entry door from underneath the bed. To the left of the bed is the thermistor for the master bedroom. Also note the beautiful mirror in the bedroom, and then you have a full length mirror in the bathroom when you shut your pocket door. So a couple of things that I wanna point out as I come into the master bathroom. One of my favorite things about the 45F is that you have a flat floor until you step up into your walk-in closet. So no step up from the bedroom to the bathroom. That's huge, especially if you're one of those people that need to go and visit the restroom at night. You don't have to fumble around trying to make that step. So I think that's really nice. Plus it feels really big because the bathroom is on a slide. So you get this nice, big, flat floor bathroom. I love it. And you have heat all the way in your master bathroom too. So it's really nice and cozy. Now we also have a pocket door as we walk in. And on the back side of this pocket door, I'm gonna have my full length mirror. So that's another nice feature for the 45F. Then as we come into the bathroom, we have the new Santa Flo Macerator Toilets. We've got a little storage compartment here. Now that's not on the hinge, it just snaps in, but you can get toilet paper back there, or it can just be a good hiding space, um, whatever you want to do with that area there. And you have the controller for the toilet, so your eco mode, normal, and empty. Then you've got your day and night shades. Those are controlled by the panel here so that you don't accidentally have someone opening those shades while you're changing your clothes in the bathroom. Then we have this beautiful vanity. So again, the quartz countertop with a double sink. I love these mirrors and these medicine cabinets. So look at all that space. And then the great thing about this is that I can see the back of my hair just by playing with the cabinet doors there. Three cabinets there that open up, tons of space. There's no divider, so again, you can get so much 
Got your toiletries in there. I just love that. Beautiful accent lights. You've got your two 110 outlets here and another two 110 outlets there with your USB outlet. Beautiful integrated sinks. And then check out all the storage in the cabinets below. Flip top here. Two huge cabinets there. And then the full extension drawers. All right, now to the shower. So something that's new this year, well, first of all, check out this beautiful shower. I love the tile they've used. I love the beautiful backsplash again, repeated here in the bathroom from the kitchen area. It's just gorgeous. And then they've added the AquaView shower miser this year. So what that does is you just flip this switch down when you go to get in your shower, then you're gonna go ahead and turn your heat on turn your water on, nothing's gonna come out because the water is now circulating through your fresh water tank and it's warming up. When this light lights up, then you're gonna go ahead, flip this over and warm water is gonna come out. Now, a little warning for you, it's warming the water that's recirculating into your fresh water tank, but there is a little bit of water in this, in this water line that will be cold at first. So if you wanna surprise your spouse, have them get in there, try it out first, but just be aware that first little bit of water is gonna be a little chilly, and then you're gonna have a nice warm shower. That's gonna save you using your fresh water tank if you're dry camping. And then the biggest reason of all for this is that it's gonna save the space in your gray water tank. So I never um, fill the black tank first. It's always the gray tank that gets full first and you have to go and dump your coach. So this is a huge savings and you're gonna love it. I also love the shower head in here and that you've got the handheld wand. That just makes everything easier to get clean. And we've got this great skylight. So you've got lots of room in the shower and height. All right, for all the ladies, you're gonna love this part. This is my favorite thing. I know I keep saying that about the 45F, but it's the walk-in closet because you have access to the full length of the back of the coach to hang your clothes, to put folded items here. Then we've got this big cabinet with adjustable shelves. And then three nice deep drawers. And again, I can get to every corner of this closet. I've got a spot here for shoes or folded items. And then I've got my washer and dryer. And I just like having that all in the closet. Basically, my clothes don't have to leave the closet unless I'm wearing them. Otherwise, they're in here hanging, folded, or they're being washed and dried. So, and then we even have another drawer right underneath the washer and dryer. So, that's a huge plus to the 45F, the walk-in closet, the big bathroom, the flat floor, until you get into the closet, that's when you step up. I mentioned earlier that I like to keep this second key fob in my bedroom. So I do this so at night I can lock the coach and it's going to secure the coach with an alarm. I do this because you have a glass break sensor here in your bathroom. It's just behind this rubber for the slide to come in. Now in the F floor plan, that's where it is in the bathroom. In the B, I believe it's actually in the master bedroom. So it varies per floor plan where that is. You have one here in the rear of the coach and you have one up front, which is um, next to the co-captain's chair, just below the double uh, 110 outlet on the back of that console. Now you can adjust the sensitivity of these sensors. So basically once I alarm it with the key fob or when I leave the coach and I alarm it by pushing the number one and holding it and it locks everything up, your coach is then alarmed when you leave the coach as well. So if someone were to bang on the windows really loudly or if they were try if they broke the windows then alarm would go off now it can be a little bit sensitive so those of you that have like little dogs with high pitched sparks occasionally that will turn it um, activate the sensor and the alarm will go off so you can adjust the sensitivity you normally it's in the cabinet behind the wall where the glass break sensor is so here it's in the master bath bedroom closet behind the drawer 
and then you can adjust that sensitivity. Up front, you get it, you access it through the co-captain's cup holder, take those out, unscrew it, and you can adjust it there. So I always like to show my customers the coach with all the slides in. So this is the 45F with the slides in. Just wanna let you know that I can get into my pantry. And easily get into the bathroom. The refrigerators. And then as I move into the kitchen galley area here, Plenty of room. I could totally be making sandwiches, cooking in the Instapot here, and then I can easily get up to the cockpit. All right, so I want to show you everything here in the cockpit of the Cornerstone. So I'm going to start over here on the left-hand side of the, the uh, cockpit here. So first of all, we have a place to set our cell phone right here. And then we go to our first button. We have the Tag Dump Auto Off and Hold. So your tag dump, you're just gonna always keep this in auto mode. The only time you're ever gonna hit this button is if you're maybe stuck in mud and you need some extra traction. That's what you're gonna hit. Our battery boost button is super important. Let's say you've been dry camping and you come back to your coach, you haven't been plugged in and you can't get your coach started. So what you wanna do is tie your house and your chassis batteries together to give you enough power that you can then start your generator let your generator run for a little bit and then you'll be able to start your engine. So this is a cutoff button for our house batteries and it has a little protective cover and you're probably wondering why. Well, I know a lot of RVers love to have their pets travel with them or sometimes grandkids and this is just to protect you in case anyone's over here that they don't accidentally uh, hit the battery, house batteries off. So these buttons are new for 2021. So we have the column tilt for the steering column and the column telescope. So we can telescope that out or back in. And then we have our pedal slide here. So we can move that pedal forward or backwards. All right, this is a button that I really like. This is your power window. So power window, wonderful, makes it easy for you to talk to your neighbor, pay your tolls, and for those of you that you know, park your coach and have to hit a certain mark. You can look right out that window to make sure you're on your mark. All right, then we have our auxiliary brake and this is the on off switch. I love these because they're, you can just reach over while you're driving and fill them. You don't have to look over at all with these toggle switches. So I always like to keep mine on, especially when I'm driving the Cornerstone with a 605 horsepower. I want to keep it on and on high because if I have to brake quickly, I want to have 605 horsepower pulling me back when I go to brake. So I keep it on high and I keep it on. Then all of these buttons here are for our day shades. So this is the driver's side day shade right here. This is the driver's front day shade, the passenger's front day shade. This is the door day shade. And this is the passenger side window day shade. All right, so next we have our air horn. So if we press this, the air horn will come up on our screen. And now we have our big air horn. If I press that again, I may go back to just my kind of weak wussy horn. When I'm driving a coach, I want to have my air horn on all the time so that if I need some, someone to get out of my way, they will know I'm here. <laughs> Then we've got our defrost button for our external mirrors. We have our ATC, which is our auto traction control. Again, you're just gonna always keep that on. Um, the only time that you would ever use that, again, stuck in mud and you need extra traction, you would hit that. Now this button here is gonna be one that you're going to use all the time when you're driving, because we now have easy steer on the cornerstone. So we had that, they added that in 2020 and that's a computer aided driving assist. So you're going to hit that button while you're driving and then you just turn this knob to adjust if you want just a little bit of help. So when you've got it down low, your steering wheel is gonna turn really easily. And then when you turn it up, the steering wheel is gonna feel a little bit 
um, stiffer. That's the way that I typically like to drive, especially when I'm on the freeway. Just it feels a little bit tighter to me. So I'll demonstrate that when I take it for a drive, but it's really easy to do because it's just that middle button, hit it, and then you can adjust it while you're driving. So this is our pages button. This allows me to put my navigation system or my 360 camera right in front of me um, on my instrument control panel and I can see it while I'm going down the road. So I'll demonstrate that. The ignition has to be on. I'll demonstrate that on my test drive. And just in front of that, we've got the internal controls for our exterior mirrors. And then we've got our lit cup holder. And we've got another lip cup holder for the driver on the right side. All right, so here we've got our headlights and marker lights. Turn those on off here, our fog lights, our accent lights, which, which are our sea lights or our show off lights, our docking lights. Again, those are super important as we're going into a campground at night so we can see around the base of our coach and our map lights here. Now we have our equalizer hydraulic leveling system. So we can go ahead and level our coach here. It's very easy. You just make sure your ignition is off this is going to tell you if, if you happen to forget to engage the park brake, it will give you a little alarm here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the power button. And then I'm going to hit auto level. It's going to beep during the whole process. Once it stops beeping, all four lights are lit up and it's quiet. I'll know that I'm level. So it stopped beeping. All four lights are lit up. And so now I'm just gonna hit the power button and I'm level. When I'm ready to leave the campground, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power on. Again, I'm gonna make sure my ignition is not on, make sure that I've engaged my park brake and I'm going to hit, hit re, all retract. Just below our hydraulic leveling system, we have our two USB ports and then our 12 volt port. Then if you look below that, you'll see a green kind of plug there. That's called a Deutsch plug. And it's a mechanical hookup for a technician to communicate with the engine and the transmission. Now just below that, I'm gonna use my toe to get that, <laughs> there is a button. All right, that button is a brake pedal override. So what that is, is say your coach has been sitting for a long time and it's lost all of its air pressure. So on these coaches, you need to have some air pressure. I'll show you as I push the brake down here and it lights up, you hear that air. It needs to have that for the engine to start. So this is gonna kind of fool it into thinking that it's got air in the system so that you can go ahead and start it. So as I push that button with my foot, the green light lights up. Also, you can see in the camera here that my brake light comes on and then I'll go ahead and it will allow me to start the engine. So this little dial right here is super important. It's how you navigate through the different information on the dash. All right, so I'm on settings. I'm gonna go ahead and press the center of the dial and then I can scroll through the different things on my settings. So TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, now comes standard on the cornerstone. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and it's gonna give me all the um, information for my tire pressure. Now, if I want to, I can add my tow vehicle here. So I'm gonna go down, hit tow vehicle, and I'm gonna say towable connected, let's say yes, and then tow type, two wheels, or four wheels, so a trailer with two axles, trailer with three axles, or I can go to my tow vehicle, which is most likely what most of you are gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, and then I'm going to exit. So now you can see the tow car, my coach, and the tow car. So now I'm gonna to go to my nav zoom. So that's just settings. I can zoom my navigation settings. Sound volume. So right now, any alerts are gonna be at 50% volume. I can turn that up or down as much as I'd like. And then I just hit the center button to select units. 
So temperature, I'm gonna keep it at Fahrenheit. Pressure, PSI. Speed or distance, miles or kilometers. We'll keep it at miles. And then I just go back. Service reminders, this is where you can set your service reminders, say you want to make sure you get engine service after so many miles, you can set that right in there rather than having a sticker on your windshield like you do in your car, um, and it will alert you well before you get to that um, setting that you've given it. Screen position, I really like this one, so you can use the knob to move that screen. I'm a little bit short, so I like that screen all the way to the top so I can see it. Diagnostics, give you error co codes here. Configuration, that's really more for your technicians back. Then you have your trip information. So I have 200 mile, 290 miles left on my fuel tank and I'm getting about 6.3 miles per gallon. This is gonna tell me how much fuel I've used, my average speed, and then I can also go to my trip two this is gonna tell me fuel used, average speed, and I can reset it right here too by just holding that center button down and start that trip information over. Then we go back to our TPMS system. So if I scroll through this, it shows me the coach. It's gonna show me the tire pressure, PSI, and then it's gonna show me the temperature and if I scroll again, it will show me the PSI and temperature of my tow vehicle. Then I go to my easy steer. Again, you can get to that by hitting that center dial that looks like a steering wheel. And I can do that right here and then just exit. And then suspension and leveling. So if I use this, I can auto level. I can use my air leveling here. So. auto level let's go to more and it's going to show me here that i am level i can go to auto level or manual manual that way i could change the level of each corner if i wanted to front left front front right right etc And then the accelerator position, I can choose what information I want on my screen here. So I could pick that, my engine percentage load, engine oil temp, I may wanna see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then that will be on my screen when I scroll through. Now here I can go to my adaptive cruise control and I can select the distance of the car that I'm following. So I can keep that distance short medium or long and i can also disable that adaptive cruise control right there if i want to as well let me go ahead and keep it at medium and then i'm back to the beginning so you can kind of customize some of the things that you see on your screen all right let's go over everything here on the steering column first of all we need to know where our hazards are so they're right down here you just pull this little metal lever out and turn them on and then a lot of people have a hard time figuring out how to turn them off. Super easy. Just hit your turn signal and it will turn them off. Sorry, just don't keep turning your signals on and off. All right, then we're here at the steering column. So now you can Bluetooth your phone so you can answer phone calls from here or hang up. This is our cruise control here. So we're just gonna hit it on, set it, resume and cancel. Over here, we've got our windshield wiper controls, so I can go ahead and turn them on or off. Now this button here is gonna allow me to set my own interval for that windshield wiper. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Hit it again. Count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000 and it will stay at that interval until I turn it off or go to high and low. This is my windshield wiper fluid here. And then we've got little toggles here on our steering column as well. So 
So this one over here is going to control the volume of my radio. This one is going to set the mode on my menu screen over here. So I can toggle through the radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera, nav, and back to radio. This one here is going to scan for me on the radio. And this is my quick nav. So I hit that and it's gonna take me right back to my navigation screen. All right, so here we have our Allison 4000 transmission, six gears. So we've got our reverse, neutral, and drive. And then our mode, we can go to economy mode. I usually use that all the time just to save me a little bit. So you can hit the plus and the minus button together to get information on your transmission. So I hit those together. The oil level is invalid right now. It's just because we're, I haven't been driving, but I hit it again. Oil life, 99%. Filters, okay. Trans health, okay. No codes. And I'm back to normal. Now, when I'm driving it, let's say I'm going up a really steep incline and I need some extra RPMs to get up the hill. I may want, and I'm in sixth gear, I may want to sh downshift to fifth or fourth gear. So I can just simply hit the minus button and do that. So here we have the ignition button. If I just press it once, I go into accessory mode. If I press it again, I go into ignition mode. Then I push the brake in and hit the button and I start the coach. Now that the coach is started and I wanna stop it, I can hit the button and just hold it will take it a little bit longer for it to go off or I can hit the brake and hold the button and turn off the engine. Here's our park brake. So we're gonna pull to apply and push to release. All right, so here's our menu. I'm gonna go ahead and just toggle through them. It is a touch screen, but I like to use my toggle. So media center, XM, Bluetooth, HDMI, my camera and my nav center. So let's go to the cameras. So this is where you can see your 360 um, view, your bird's eye view right here. And I really like this. I like to watch this while I'm going down the road. I can see everything around me. I can also click and then select what view I want to see. So lots of options there. Again, I like that 360 view. Go back to my menu here and let's go to our nav. So here's our nav system. And again, I can use that toggle and go between my radio and back to my nav really easily. Settings, this is where you can customize your screen. And if you wanna put in HDMI, here's the port for the HDMI. We don't have anything in there right now. Bluetooth. Set up your phone, connect your phone to that. All right, so then let's move over here. We've got our controls for our AC and heat, the mode, our cold and hot, and our fan speed here. Again, our HDMI port, USB port here, and 12 volt outlet. Right around the corner, I've got my two 110 outlets. And then again, we've got our cup holders, Integra backlight cells with the red, I love that. Really nice when you're driving at night too. And then we've got our little holder for our keys or our phone and our container here. Little drawer that we can put things in. It's nice, it doesn't jiggle, and you're gonna love it. And I have two 110 outlets right behind my chair here. Have I mentioned how comfortable the captain and co-captain's chairs are? They are so comfortable. Villa furniture, real Italian leather, and then they are powered as well. So we have the forward and back, and then we can tilt back, tilt forward. Then we have our control for the, um, the heat and the cooled seats. So if I hit that, I'm gonna have full cool, hit it again, medium, low, and off. Same with the heat, high, medium, low, off, and this will tilt forward and back. 
and my lumbar support. And then this button here will give me my foot rest when I've got the chair turned around and I'm using it in the living room. All right, over in the co-captain's chair, I have all the same controls that I had on my captain's chair, but probably my favorite is foot rest. <laughs> so, and I can use that while we're driving. And here to my right, I've got the controls for my day shade. So my windshield day shade right in front of me, the door day shade, and my window day shade right here. Then one of the things I want to do right when I sit down usually is extend the step slide so that if I get out of my seat, I don't accidentally fall into the stairwell. We've got a drink holder here for me, cup holder here, and it's lit. And I've got two USB charging ports. And then right behind me, I've got a little spot for my cell phone. And then just behind that, I have two 110 outlets. All right, so let's get this beauty out on the road. You can see that I'm inside our facility here in Surprise, Arizona. And it's gonna be a bit of a task getting out of here. So I'm gonna put the 360 camera, easy steer, my toll window, and my spotter to work here to get us out of this spot. But I do want to have you see me do that. At National Indoor RV Centers, our porters average about 11,000 moves per year per location. So I can promise you this though, none of them do it in heels, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and give this a go. All right, so to get ready to leave here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my easy steer. I wanna turn that all the way down to the minimum so that it's super easy for me to turn my steering wheel as I go to maneuver out of here. And I'm gonna check and make sure I've got my 360 camera up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and call my spotter so that everything goes well. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, I made it out of our building. So um, now you can see why I like pull through campsites, just makes it that much e easier. And boy, it does put me in awe of our porters who can literally maneuver around our lots with no problem. Most of the time they're in reverse. So anyway, I, I always watch them. I hold my breath some of the time, but I don't need to because they do it flawlessly. All right, let's go ahead and get out on the road. With the power window, it's really nice to be able to get to the toll booth or the access gate input code area. So I do like that and I have this mess with a manual window. All right, so as we head up to the corner here, I'm gonna turn my left hand turn signal and you'll see that now I've got this shot in my camera down the full left side of the coach. So that's great for I'm changing lanes, turning. And then remember when you're turning in a big class A diesel, that your turning point is the middle of your front axle. So you don't start your turn until basically your tires that are sitting behind you are at that turning point. So that's just one of the things you have to get used to. If you're a first time RVer, first time driving a class A diesel, that's one of those things you have to put your nose out there first because your tires are behind you, not in front of you like they are in the car or truck. Um, something we can work on and be happy to take you on a test drive it's really the best way to come and make your buying decision so make sure you uh, come out to national indoor rv centers and test drive the coach that you're interested in all right so now that we're out on the road i want to make sure i want to throw my 360 camera up here on my dash so i'm just going to hit my pages button and i've got my nav up there now hit it again now I've got the 360 camera, then all my gauges just move to the side. This is how I like to drive. I like to have the 360 camera in front of me. I can see everything around the coach and then my rear view shot as well. And then over here, I can just glance over and I can see my nav system over there. So that makes it super easy. And then now that I'm out on the road, I'm not in the parking, um, you know, the storage facility at National Indoor RV Centers. I want to go ahead and move my easy steer up to where 
my steering uh, column is, feels a little bit stiffer. So I'm just gonna hit that middle button that kind of looks like the steering column. And then I can just move that green dial up appropriately to where I like the feel of the steering column. And I go ahead and like it kind of feeling nice and tight. So lock that in and now I'm good to go. I'm just watching all the cars around me. Checking out those mirrors. All right. All right. So some of the things I love about the cornerstone, you have the adaptive cruise control. So once I set my cruise, it's going to set that following distance and it will slow me down, speed me up and keep that constant speed. So makes it really easy while you're driving. You've got your blind spot monitors. So when someone comes up on the side of me, if I go to change lanes and, and I don't see someone there, I'm going to get an alert in my mirror and I'll show you that. As you can see, I've got someone coming up to the right of me there and the blind spot monitor light lit up. So I'm going to go ahead and set my cruise control, even though this is kind of a slow road, it's just going to make it easier for me to drive. Um, it's going to maintain this, the speed limit right now, and I'm not going to be putting my foot on and off the brake. So my collision mitigation system will slow me down when the traffic starts to slow me down. So I've got the medium distance set on my cruise control. So it's going to watch the car in front of me. Now they're all starting to stop. So it's going to start to slow me down. All right, so I've got my engine brake on high. So as I, I'm going along, if I take my foot off the accelerator, you'll feel the coach start to stop itself. Um, so I'm just going to drive along here until I get to the next uh, red light, which seems to be coming up here. All right, my foot's off the accelerator and you can see it's going to slow me right down. Not to a stop, but close enough. You see the, how it works. It just, it makes it easy, gives you that extra you know, a bit of help when you're braking. And I like it just in case of emergency, I have all the braking power I can possibly have when I have that on high. All right, so whenever I'm driving a coach, I like to do the decibel reader just to see where we're at. And now I'm on a fairly noisy road and I'm at 69.2, which is really quiet. Inside the coach is very quiet. You're gonna love this coach, quietest riding, best handling, handling coach on the market today, period. I'll agree. All right, so you've got to come out to National Indoor RV Centers and test drive a Cornerstone. I'm telling you, it is a pleasure to drive with the easy steer, the 360 cameras, collision mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitors, um, these great mirrors that I, that I get to, you know, watch as I'm making my turns and I'm checking them constantly. I'm telling you, these are not hard to drive. Nothing to be afraid of. Come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one for a test drive. We'd love to have you. I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of the 2021 Integra Cornerstone Floor Plan 45F. I absolutely love this coach and I'm sure you're wondering what this gorgeous coach would cost you. Well, MSRP is $758,123. MAP pricing, minimum advertised price, is $568,592. If you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, give me a call at 469-277-1120 or visit our website where you can see this coach and everything else we have to offer at nirvc.com. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less from National Indoor RV Centers. Now, whether you're a first time buyer or if you buy a coach every other year from us, we, uh, we take in trades, we have the best consignment in the country. We will help you get into coach however we can. We offer financing and extended warranty plans. Basically, we do it all. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you go and check out my retro van video, our RVing 101 series, and then you won't want to miss our AIM Club, our all-inclusive motorhome club where we get to know our customers and get to hang out and party together and have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching this video.